Item 9, any other business? Mr. Meakin said that concessionary coal orders were building up for delivery from Smithy Wood land sale due to shortage of suitable coal and asked the chairman if something could be done about this before the winter months were on us. Mr. Ford said he'd look into this. Someone move a true and accurate record of these minutes. I'll that, Mr. Chairman. I'll second that, Mr. Chairman. Now, before we go on to matters arising, I have an item of news which I think you'll find interesting. Next month, Prince Charles is making a two-day visit to this area. He'll be visiting Sheffield, Barnsley, and one or two other places in the area. Today, I had a phone call from the area director, and he informs me that this colliery has been chosen for an official visit. <laughs> I think we ought to spend the rest of the afternoon discussing the preparations for this visit and what we're going to do about it. So if somebody would like to propose a motion cancelling the present agenda? Yeah. I'd like to move a motion cancelling visit. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. I'm serious. Will he be turning up here? What do you mean, arriving at me? In here? In this office? Ah, we don't know yet, we haven't got the itinerary, we'll have, have we? We'll have to shift these up, all <laughs> No, that's going to get repainted, that. <laughs> I'll touch up. <laughs> Sorry about that. We haven't got the itinerary, we haven't got the look, 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 place is going to be. What about it? the muck stock, with this? Well, you know my feelings on that. I want it recontoured and grasped. Well, you've tried hard enough in the past. Well, it doesn't matter how much we clean the yard up. It'll look no with that at back on it. No, it won't do that. Well, what about canteen? Yeah. The other side at back on it. No, no, money. Why not? Oh, they'll not do all this. No, why? They won't be going in there, this will it? That's what I'm saying. Why not? How do you know you've done money? I've been carrying that bloody office. <laughs> look, we've already been designated money for a facelift. It were going to be done, so we may as well kill two birds with one stone. Well, we can kill three while that's at it, because I'm having naught to do here. If he's going to come here, he should see this place as it is. And if not, it shouldn't come at all. Yeah, what about the stockyard area? It's an nice one. There's loads of scrap that could be sold to a scrap merchant. And money received from this and utilised. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. 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 Right. Don't right. forget the yes. big bath silent. Yeah. yeah. What about canteen? Oh. Now look, I've just that's explained to you once about everything. Well, let's forget about this and look, let's get things right in a proper perspective. We're going to do this job. <coughs> And we're going to do it right. And we're going to have something to be proud on. There's nobody going to be ashamed at Pitt. Yeah. They're going to be proud on it. Is that all right? Okay. So that's it then. So let's cut the argument out and let's start and do and make this pit so we're proud on it and everybody else is. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Before the grass comes through, about two to three weeks, depending on the weather. Good. Now that'll give us plenty of time then. Yes, but uh, if it rains really hard, it will wash the seed off the bank. Well, we'll have to pray it up then, shall we? Right, Dad. 
Už dva tě. Jo, co je máj? A my jeli po lese. A ty jsi líbil? No. A bloody good picture, don't you? No, why can't we get a colour telly? Ah. It's going back to Wiggy's hat, so I want to tell you that. How many is his boy cut out yet? No, he's playing well. It's a lot of yarn shit. Yeah, that's all right. Look at that. Look at him. We've been a funny telly and look like Big Miz. <laughs> Here, I love. Cheers, kid. Now, my mum, please. I'll get you yours, Mark, when your dad's gone to work. Oh, yeah. oh what are you having oh, your love? I forgot we could go cream on it. Yeah. How much do you want? Um, 50 pence. Oh, 50 pence, Sid, for cookery. Yeah. Oh, and Janet, you can use that 50 pence to bring me a loaf. Yeah. What? You know that big door they're having at your pit? All right. Sean Chapel says anybody can go down. Then he's going down with his grandma. Well, unless his grandma's queen, he's not. Yeah, but that's a nonsense. He's saying that when all the ideas are gone, they're going to let General Cook it down for a little. No, look, that's only on open days. This is an official visit. He said they're making a good job at Pete Yard, though, is it? And he ought to be, didn't he? He's enough on him at it. I've never seen Oak like it. Folks should think royalty will come in or something. Morning, Sid. Morning, Sid. Sid, dear. Oh. Yeah. You get over it now, then, Sid, with it? I don't know. Every time I think about it, it's like having one of my back teeth. Ah, yeah, we'll There's a bloke in there, Rex, to be a fast bowler. I've seen faster bowlers on green down at club. He wants to be. Chuck, what's he wants to be hooking for at this time of day? Hooking, he wants... Hey, you can stop that language and steer it till you get to the pit. <laughs> That's all I needed. Sunny afternoon like this, afternoon right. shift, now boycott's out. I might as well throw me ten at reservoir. How's that been up? Put it up Friday. Milton units, eh? That would have worked out pit now, the nose kid. He's Tenebris Slugs. NCB, Milton units, South Yorkshire. He's Tenebris Slugs. Bloody hell. Latin, that. Latin? No, it means out of the shadows comes the light. Bloody hell, where'd they get that from? Right, Tony. Hey, well, Tony? Did a bit of Latin at school. Well, what's he doing down pit then if he knows Latin? Well, he didn't know it for long, did he? Didn't have much choice really, he packed it in. Dan each 7G3 to get a job sweeping up these days, isn't he? <laughs> They've got that, Help, there. Pete. To tree that plant in there, the nose, not a daffodil. What's that mean? Look at the size of that oil. It wants to be twice as deep as that and a lot wider. There's got, look, there's got to get one for them roots to spread, otherwise it'll de like that one. Yeah, it's only for royal visit, isn't it? I mean, after that, it's done with, isn't it? Now, come on, if that's good enough job, do it right. I'll tell you, I'm bleeding pissed off with gardening. <laughs> <laughs> I came here to be a miner, didn't I? <laughs> now, what's the thing to say, lucky dad got such an enlightened employer training in all these different skills? Uh, is, is that right? <laughs> anyway, be like, get off, gut. Whoa, <laughs> look, uh, <laughs> I've been here all morning digging this and there's your two chuffs coming. It does it good, I can come and do mine when they're finished doing that. Oh, yeah. I can. Come and hey, tramp. Another thing, does the know be planting that tree that ensuring economic future of this country? That's the way that's that. Well, they know where your coil comes from, don't they? Ah, it's made. Oh, we did jog the thing. 
Well, then, how's it made? It's made with trees, isn't it? Dean off and after millions of years, forms coiled, doesn't it? Well, there the goods, then. Stocks don't last forever, do they? Be planting that tree, that safeguarding economic future at mining industry for the next two million years. Don't be so daft, I tell you, it's what's known as long-term planning. Come on, silly boy, I'm as daft as thee. Have they recruited our Tony into the Forestry Commission and all yet? Ah, uh, isn't, isn't, isn't wood business, is stacking chocks up there. Anyway, what they're doing planting that tree with the hat on? Ah, regulations, oh, innit? They can't take them off, can they? Somebody told me that's firm that's doing Blackpool Tower every year. Yeah, it is. It looks a bit better than it would. I bet it's not been painted since it was put up. Yeah, it's supposed to have been this bit more than 100 years old. I'm telling you, I've been here 38 years come November, and it's not been done in my time. They've got the best place to go. They don't show up when I paint my chicken run. I wish I were doing that this afternoon instead of going where I'm going. Yeah, only the bad. Put an escalator on in and all when you finished printing. Hello, Ronnie. Hello, Fred. Hello, Ronnie. How's your watch going on? 85 for two when we come out. This boy cut out. Ah, just no. as we left. Don't talk about it. How many? Yes. 44. We can't gamble at that. Who can't? How will I go on when they're frisking him, then? Ah, don't you worry about him. Same as you, you know, the same. Feel in his pockets. That shit, this any if they touch his overalls, eh? Yeah, it's <laughs> trouble, man. <laughs> what'll I do, Arthur, if that finds a lump in one of his pockets? We'll ask him to take it out and show it, eh? That's depends on which pocket is, is in. <laughs> Could have a first on a dynamite top back, and that's a note. Note that. Yeah, the way we were down here with dynamite on, he don't take contraband like your idiots. He's more likely to than us, innit? He don't know how to back job. We work here, we know what could happen. Well, tell me he don't smoke, does he? Tell me he smokes woodbines. <laughs> yeah, he did old his own. <laughs> I wonder if, if he saves coupons. Round to, innit? Inflation's hitting them just same as us, I know. He's only got to read papers to tell you that. I bet he's saving up one of these new lawnmowers to say they've got a lot of grass at the back of their house. A <laughs> lot of grass. 40 million quid he's worth. Never. He is, ah. He gets most on it from Duchy of Cornwall. Oh, she? It's land, you daft pillock. <laughs> if they ever tax brains, I'll get a rebate, the Albert, does not know. He's got, he's got a lot of land in Devon and Cornwall and these big estates in London. Best is, though, they knows when he got that rise in 1973. Parliament agreed to pay his widow 60,000 quid a year. That's, yeah, up, that's yeah. over a thousand pound a week at taxpayers' money. Never. <laughs> He's not bloody married. Well, if she'll still want looking after, won't she, when he goes? And over a thousand pound a week? What's an ordinary widow getting these days? 13 pound 30. <laughs> Come on, Leslie Wells, that cage is here. This is Leslie Wells. Well, no, no, of oh, course, not, not old enough to know Leslie Wells. Knows more about Rackle Wells, that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, he I've heard of him. <laughs> oh, that was a good thrill. All right, Jack. Look, when you for you. Uh, well done. Well, we'll go again, eh? Come on, get down here. <laughs> Come on, Slim, get on. A come here, Jaffa. Snow Snow's talking about. Tell me they're sending 10,000 gallons of snow sent to White West Staff for the snow. Hey, now they're going to pay it chair, though, aren't they? Ah, they're going to pay it for it last, so you're going to do muck it up. Oh, yeah, man. Thanks very much. Hope that's going on when we come out. I'll have gone on watching television. Uh, oh, piss us down. Don't worry. Well, 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 well. What you got the 
doing here? Then? Painting again. <laughs> They're going to fetch two tubs of flowered wallpaper down up next door. The gaffer wants to put them up as soon as I finish doing that. Well, I'll tell you what, I'd rather put wallpaper up than do this job any day. It's going to rain real, any. By the word, the uh, she would have been a walk around from a clock in, won't you? When did come in then? What are you going on about? Mm. Did come, what's up? New outfit they're getting. What's that outfit? <laughs> Velvet overalls, white helmet, matching kid gloves and a dicky ball beer for him when he gets here. <laughs> Just look far. <laughs> yeah, that was big daft. They'll look like a dirty mob salad for him, ain't they? Well, <laughs> yeah, but come on, let's have the old paddy. Hey, oh, how are we going to go on when it paddy's not here? How are we going to get to work? Where's the beer? They're taking this out. Well, I can't be asked. I hope we don't have me. They've got a, they've got a tub painted white man and they're looking for four white pit ponies so that can drive him there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fair enough then. Huh? Anyway, where's the city? Which is this here? Oh, Tolly kid. That's it. That's his. That's his, is it, when he comes? Yes, that's his. Well, it's mine today. I'm in. Hello. Say, Tolly. Well, tell me something to know. I hope you're not... Sitting him on these, you want something a bit different to these hard boots for him, I know. Not some foam rubber cushions covered in red material. For that? I should hope so, no, because I'll tell you something, we can't have him sitting on old cold and hard and finishing up with piles. <laughs> Horrocks, you said? Yes, Horrocks. You pronounce your bees, bunny. It is that, damn, please you don't call me that. I get called enough names with men as it is. Thursday, next Thursday. What time? Yeah. Yeah. And it's from the palace himself, is it? Hmm. Well, so far, so good. Touch wood. Come in. Jeff. Right out, George. I'll fix that up. Yeah, thanks. Cheerio. Bye. Just waiting for Jeff. Hi there. Uh, they're going to make a good job of these officers, aren't they? Ah, shit, no, I, I think I'm going to be in bed in the sleeping mine is better than our house. <laughs> now then, I just want to know how things are progressing. Want to be on top of everything, don't we? Yeah. Now then, have we any problems, any fresh problems anyway? No. Except there's a lot of paint getting pasted. They've just unloaded it off the lorries and it's standing around for a long time unattended. The fellas are just walking past and lifting it. Well, that's got the bloody stop. The minute that paint comes off at lorries, yes. I want it under lock and key. Yes. Cos I'm not having every bloody pigeon loft and garden shed painted at NCB's expense. Right. Now, it's it's on the ground. That's stone over that black yet. They've uh, promised it for this afternoon. Well, look, follow that up. We don't want to leave jobs like that till last minute. You got your curtains? Yeah. Right, curtains are all done. They don't know, 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 they just want to put it up there. Well, aye. Well, listen, this afternoon, I've got Ron Atkinson coming over from area. Now, what I propose to do is the four of us will have a walk around the yard and see if we can spot any little detail we might have missed or we can improve on. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Now, you see, reason for Ron, he's an outsider. Now, he might spot something we've missed. Yeah. And I don't have been on premises all day, you see. Mm -hmm. Now that Emmett is coming up from Palace next Thursday to plot and plan everything. Oh, now, we're not it. sure what route he'll take yet, but we've a rough idea. Right, now, you can get off now. I'll gear a buzz when Ron comes. Right. Okay. See you later. Okay, yeah. All right, then. Hey, what's your office like? Get over. I can't find the bloody thing. Same. Same. Bloody old Oh, Christ, now. I want to start the bloody thing clean. Look at that. He's above there. Get him out for one, I want him. That you, Bob? Forbes. Listen, what's Tom doing? Aye. Right. Well, that sounds it. That can wait, that can. I want you to get him. Tell him to give my car a good wash down and have it outside my office for three o'clock. OK? The whole approach to the pitch is 100% improvement. You've made a good job of it. I just get a look at them. In another few years' time, when they're established, it'll just be like driving up to a stately home with you. Aye, I think you'll be proud when they come. 
Let's hope so, you put a lot of work into it. Yeah. What do you think do it then? Well, it looks absolutely spot on as far as I can see, Stan. Well, don't you notice anything different? Can't see anything. Just a minute, the old stack. You've had it recontoured. Well, I think so. Look at it. Just look at that lot. Don't it look better? Have you had it grassed as well? Yeah. Go yeah. on, let's go and have a look at this. Look, you see, all the lot. Right the way through. It's going to look a picture, this is. It's a great improvement, Stan. Oh, when the grass is up on this, just like a great big green hill. I bet you can see grass coming through now. Yeah, you can. Look be it. Look at that lot. Look be it. Get down. Look, looks like a green ace here, look. What are they doing? Well, I don't know. Like a team of bloody hostages getting ready for a race. You silly Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> Shout off. Oh. <laughs> Go on, we've got to get the wood of paint on this. <laughs> and, and look at that. You see, your head gears now. Can you see, my, it's all showing up lovely now. Oh, you see, this painting's coming up grand now. Indeed. Well, you big daft pillar, can't you? Look what you've done! Keep your foot up! Don't oh, put no, that foot down! You know what, he's a shark, that's an arse, he's carrying that! You know what, Thor said, what, this yard cleaning up the finch chance to eat his dinner off. Keep that leg Don't up! Don't blame me! Well, look at this, are you blind? Louder. Are you too blind or are you bloody daft or what? I should have shouted a bit louder. You youngins are all the same. Look at this, you knew damn well, didn't you? Who do you think you are? Never mind, I'm painting this bloody line, that's what I'm doing. Don't put your foot down! All right. All right, OK. <laughs> so, you see, I've got painted on. Now, you can see what it's going to look like, can't you? Well, it's all painted up, faced up and lot, eh? I could do is go through. Eh? It'll be all right, won't it? Oh, oh, Daddy! Oh. What the hell's that in here, Sam? Oi! Oi! What? Come here! Come here! Both on you! Here! What have we done? Get your head in and shut up! What are you prattin' about, that? Going up to bath, Mr. I know you're going to the bath, Mr. Forbes. Mr. Forbes, I know you're going to the bath. What was I think by Alice to pick it? He's giving me a lift oh, too. We've just been down his shop. Oh, I can see he's giving the lift too. Why? Why? Well, why are we going like this? Because I've tried in somewhere. I've tried in somewhere many a time, but nobody gives me a ride. What's the trudin? Some paint down its dockyard on a white line. Ah, because paint, you've been prattin paint 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 prattin about again, you two, haven't you? Prattin no, we have, we've been doing I'm a job. I'm not talking to you. You shut up a minute. What's he sent you up to do? Get that paint off. Yeah. Right. In there. Get it off. Get back up there and stop bloody prattin about. Get your work done. Now get in there. Now go on. Piss off. Come get on, in there. Bloody little get. I'll give you a brick wall, you little get. Get in there. Well, now we'll try and get back to reality, eh? Yes, yes. Well, get out over there. So, we'll be lined up uh, about here, I should imagine. Yes, yes. Eh? Yeah. What about the red carpet? Are you going to have one down? What do they do? What, what do you think? Well, uh, do you know what about this? What do you think? It's up to you. I suppose it's your usual practice. Well, the Emerson will be up when ask him what the procedure is. Well, I think we ought to order a length, though. Just in case. You think so? I think we ought to do. Well, get your book out a minute. I'll just face out and we'll see. A rough idea, this, that's all. Right. Right? Okay. okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Seven yards. Make it seven yards. I tell you what, make it ten. Ten, ten yards we want. Ten yards? Yeah. Ten yards of what? 
steak up it. Maroon steak up it. Even in doubt, look, best plan, get Sheila. Tell her to see to it. She'll know what to do in a job like this. All right? Hey, I know. Why don't we put a roll of belting down, eh? It won't cost us a penny. Don't you think I've just had enough with them two without you starting? Put a roll of belting down. Well, I don't think we should go to any expen extra expenditure, do we? We don't want to antagonise the men. Well, why should that? Why should it do that? It's 99% of the men wanting this visit. Yeah, well, they're not all welcome it, will they? Well, you've just got a few, haven't you? Nutters. But all the rest want this visit. The proud is coming to fit. We're not going to spoil it, are we? A bit of bloody carpeting. Get it ordered. I'll Come see on, you, Sheila. You take your hats in. Yeah. I'm in office. Mm. Right. Sheila, be the follow in five minutes, please. Mm. What do you think, then, Stan? Very nice. Very nice. Be like a five star hotel when it's finished. Now then, lads, how's it going? All right. All right, lads. Yeah, well, well, we thought we'd keep it this poor. I had a word with Mrs. Fogg. She had no fancy colours like that, you know. I'll nice clean. Oh, great, smashing. I keep these lads at it. Oh, they're pleased for all the time. Well, that's the old time, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep them going. That's my office. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. Yeah. What's your mm. quote on this drawer? I caught it this morning. It all bloody pays all the time. It's easy, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> bloody hell, no. Look here. Well, they've been changed and we get the fit in. I'm going to make him a presentation. What sort of presentation? I've had him a deputy yardstick, mate. <laughs> I've had it polished up with one of the engineers and capped with silver. Oof, very nice. Is this real silver? Yeah, of course it is. Oh, there's the maker's initials. Yeah. Tea is ready, Mr. Forbes. Bring it in, Sheila, please. It's worth a bother to us, you know. Yes, I know, but it seems like a nice little memento, and I think the lad will appreciate it, don't you, Hook? Oh, indeed. Sugar, Mr. Atkinson. Just one, please. Oh, so I'd be afraid of putting a little bit along with the stick. This is an album of uh, photographs, old photographs of royalty visiting the pits in the area years ago. And I'll make an album up, and, yeah. you see? So, I mean, it'll make a nice... Good collection, isn't it? Yeah, well, it'll make a nice reading point. Maybe we have to have an hour or two at sea when he's at sea looking at this, thinking about us. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that. <laughs> That's uh, all that is that That's Queen, Queen Mary. Queen? That. I wouldn't like that. Very nice, very nice. Was it during the 1912 visit? There was a big disaster at the <sighs> nearby pit to uh, Kirby Main, wasn't it, Stan? Yeah, on the same day. Well, they were at Silverwood. There was an explosion at Kirby, and uh, oh, there were six men and lads killed. Anyway, I've got it here somewhere. I was going to include it in the album, but we had second thoughts, because when you read it, you'll understand why. A happy rebellion was married by terrible rumours at a pit tragedy at Kirby Main, where 86 men and boys were killed. In the evening, the King and Queen arrived unexpectedly at Kirby Main Colliery to express their sympathy to the bereaved wives and families. Then they returned to Wentworth House, where they were staying with the Fitzwilliams family. Bad luck, that, then. What? That disaster happening on the same day as their visit. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, definitely, definitely. Mm Bikes and buy them across, and then they're all nude women across. Nude women? Yeah. Mm. I like to roll Sharon Marshall across it. Ah, I know, isn't it? 
Yeah, that's what you're dancing last night. Ah, uh, won't mind, will it? Tits yeah. bouncing, they're like two bloody burns playing in a bed. <laughs> what are you messing about at now? Oh, just they did all that. I told us to do. And what's that supposed to be? More than that, that Bob. Brighten the place up a bit before him Prince Charles comes. Oh, brighten your horse up in a minute. Clean her boot of that. Now get that covered up and get some paint on here and try and do it properly. This is the bloody National Curl Board, not the National Art Gallery. Oh, right, Bob. He's a he talks a load of balls. What do you say there? I said we're going to need a lot of turpentine time to get this paint off his overalls. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> be done quick, because we might be up there. And tell yes. to expect us in about half an hour, right? Yes. As quick as you can. Jeff Carter, my under manager. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Query from the palace. Please of course, you know. Uh, hello. Hello, Jeff. Nice All right, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, we've, we have a very tight schedule on this uh, visit, with a lot of engagements to fulfil. So it's essential that every section of the programme should be timed to the minute. Now well, the helicopter will land at 10.30 precisely. What? Wait, helicopter? Yes, is there anything wrong? No, you're just taking us by surprise, that's all. We naturally thought he'd be travelling by car. <laughs> no, we nearly always use a helicopter for these meet the people tours. You see, you get the maximum number of visits in a given area it minimises the travelling time. Well, uh, yeah, well, yeah. appreciate that. Think about it. Now, where do you suggest we have the landing pad? Well, now you've mentioned it, Sir Gordon, I think we must have a look down here, because I think we have an ideal spot. Yes, that looks very possible. Well, we've no tall buildings, and you're well cleared of the headgears, and there's yes. no wires. What about the markings? Yeah. Will it have to be marked out at all? Yes. You'll need to have a large white H painted on the ground, Yes. which is perfectly easy for the pilot to pick up when he comes in to land. The right. pilot? I thought he took the controls himself. <laughs> <laughs> he does sometimes on more leisurely occasions. Now, immediately after touchdown, you'll have the introduction of the coal board personnel, officials of the mining union, yeah. and associations. Yeah. And that, I presume, will take place there because the next port of call will be the offices. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea of it, yeah, yeah. Now, I wonder if somebody could uh, make a note of all Phil, this, could they? Yeah, you mind, Thank no, you very much. Yeah. Right, well, 10.30 touchdown. Uh, oh, ten, and um, ten thirty touchdown. That's right. And now we un we find the only satisfactory way of doing this is to do a real walk through a proper rehearsal. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Right. Uh, ten thirty touchdown. You got that, Phil? <laughs> now, Mr. Forbes, you will walk forward and be presented here, <coughs> and then you will proceed with His Royal Highness to the official party. And 10.32, introduction of the official party. And how many men have you got actually in the, uh, in the line-up, Mr. Ford? Well, I really couldn't tell you, Sir Gordon, I've fun, but I've got them all inside. Now, shall I bring them out? If you would, up? please. Yes, please. Would it help? It would make it much more accurate. Right. Mr. Gordon, do you find everything is going according to plan for you? Yes, it's going very well, I think, yes. Uh, I wanted to pardon me for saying this, sir, but you do very much remind me of the Duke of Edinburgh. Do you mind really? saying so? Well, I think, I don't think whether he'd be very pleased, because he's very much younger than I am. Oh, you very much resemble him, then, in very much yeah. way. You've just been saying so, my colleague and I down there have been saying so, we think uh, very much of him, very much so. Well, don't say a word, but I think I'm a little taller than he is, don't you? Is it a fact, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Phil. What's that, yeah? It's a bloody good job this pit's not near the canal. Why not? Well, he'd want to come in his cruiser, wouldn't he? Think of the bloody job we'd have on widening that. <laughs> Excuse me, Sir Gordon. Do you find you have to stand down on people sometimes? No, that's not my job. You have to stand down. That's my job. Hopefully, you're still on the tapping there. Who? What's this here? I don't know. Perhaps there's something to do with your visit that they're on about. Who's that bloke with grey hair and suit? Must be important anyway. Yeah. And this gentleman here, this is Walter Hardy. He's one of our longest serving employees. He started work in the mines at 13. He's due for retirement next month after 41 years of loyal service. Loyal service, I know the bloody choice. 
Walter, you've been already told twice you don't speak unless His Royal Highness speaks to you first. Sorry about that, Sir All you have to do is to bow slightly and shake hands and wait for Prince Charles to hold out his hand before you take it. You understand? Yes. And should His Royal Highness speak to you, you will address him as Sir. And I hope when the day comes, Walter, we're going to have your teeth in. Well, I want a new set. These are loose. I sound like a bloody trotting pony when I've got the buggers in. Walter, I know the Prince is a nautical man, and he knows all the words. But he's going to hear none from you or anyone else on that day. So remember that, will you? Yes, sir. Right. And this is Michael Barton, one of our youngest apprentices. He's a real good lad. He's coming on real well. But there's one thing I'd like to tell him. Do us a favour, Michael. Get your hair cut for the day, please, will you? I didn't cut yesterday. When? Yesterday. Turn round, lad. Well, the only thing I can say is robbed you. Hey, what are they doing? I'm making a five or side picture out of something. I'll be sure more. Yeah. What is it then? It's a more picture. Oh, helicopters come in with helicopter, didn't you know? Helicopters? Yeah. I didn't know that. Manager didn't know, there's been a right flap on his head, my hose in it yeah. all down. Yeah, will you? Brushing it. My name Bluey's out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Running in and out of office, see if I was doing it right. Yeah. Ah. Ah. look on it though, I thought it was maybe five or side pitch or something. There's this rope to keep crowds off. Hey! Hey, there's Bluey up to you. Where are you two supposed to be walking? Well, I've just come down from Fitty Shop, we're off up into the stockyard now. Well, before you go, I've got a little job for you. But I better go and make it right with Harry first. What's I want us to do then? Well, I'll tell you what I want you to do. There's two tubes behind the office. I want you to bring them around the front and stand one either side of the door. Then go to the stores and get a wheelbarrow. I want you to fill them up with soil. Well, pit tubs full of soil. <laughs> Flower tubs, you dozy buggy. Oh, oh, there's some flowers there then. No. It'd look great with two pit tubes standing in front of the office, wouldn't it? <laughs> Mr. Forbes wants them brought around because he wants a little, some flowers and some decoration at the front of the office. Uh, OK, you two can get away and get that done now. Yep. Go on, don't hurry. And you can get back on painting them lines and, and keep them straight. What? OK? Circle as well. Never mind. Get on with the lines and try and get a bit of work done. They had to take him home in pit ambulance. I can imagine how in his face when he rolled up outside in that. She thought something serious had happened to him. Yeah. So they opened back doors and he rolls out singing and shouting. She kicked him from our soul to breakfast time right across the road. <laughs> Upstairs to bed. <laughs> Got a right temper, her and us, when she gets going. <laughs> she won't let him out of house for a week. Aye, uh, aye, but I mean, there was a reason there. I mean, it kept her waiting over an hour. He promised to take her down pit. They could go down that day. But yeah, that's right, that's right. Really, yeah. right. Missed, she didn't miss no one, did she? No, no, it's hard, Hold on. 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 Hold Folks that's lived in village just, just to come and have a look. It's better having an Otten day and folks from district coming and what we're having. Somebody who's got naught to do it fit. I mean, that, that's a bloody waste of time and money, that is, isn't it? I wouldn't say that because if that's got... If that's got something important coming to the pit like we've got, I mean, it's bloody royalty, isn't it? If that's, that's got to dress it up a bit. Do you imagine if that got somebody coming to your house? What were important to thee? They'll put a bit of a show on for them, won't they? I'm not talking about putting a bit of a show on. I'm talking about spending thousands of pounds of public's money on a visit that's going to last no more than two hours. I thought it's supposed to be a crisis on. Telling us we're supposed to be tightening his belts. 
How, they, how does they expect people to take any notice of that when they see all this lot going up? My dear, I think people like it. Bit of pomp and ceremony. I think it brightens life up a bit, doesn't it, for us? It were like the other day, I'm telling you, when I'm Chancellor Exchequer at one of these banquets. He stood there with bloody white jacket on at Dickie Bull. He, I'm not kidding, he's telling us that we're, what a state we're in, and he's just finished eating a meal that it cost more than some blokes earning a week. I mean, there were that much grub on that table, they had to have four hydraulic chops to hold the bugger up. <laughs> you must think we're poor, me, then. Oh, give up, Sid. You know as well as I do that the money it ain't just spent for the visit. Well, it's just a coincidence, is it, then, that they decided to do our pitch up just when he were coming? I don't know how they decided, but I do know the money's there. All they've done is accelerated the spending of it. That's all. Don't talk bloody stupid. I reckon it's a good thing. Ah, it's right there, Sid. They, work, they figure it out for the cent. That bit's been a hell of a bloody state for years, and I knows it, and I know it. We've gone long. Well, that's gone long to me. It's not the point, Ronnie. Look, if all this fuss is worth making, it's worth making for us, isn't it? It's us what live here, and has to, we have to see bloody place every day, don't we? I agree with you. What's bloody royalty ever done for us? The only bloody parasites. These should be bloody face. These should be bloody, bloody face, and so I'll take the outside. Get back on bloody all instead of spending it down. I've worked here 43 years, but they never paid to the bugger for me, did they? Ah, oh, come on, what are we doing? Are we playing snooker, or else are we going to have gloves at? Okay, then. Don't talk wet. Talking? I'm not talking wet. It's an honour for this pit to be chosen, and mo most of the men think so as well. Honour my arse. I'll tell you why they chose our pit, shall I? Oh, get lost. Uh, shall I tell you why they chose our pit? Right, Go on then, clever bugger. Because they knew that branch officials were soft as shit and that they wouldn't oppose it. Why should we oppose it? The men agreed to it, didn't they? Men had not to do it. They never said a dicky bird, they just passed it. They could have said something if they wanted to. Everybody knew about Look, it. Look, any branch official worth his salt would have rejected that proposal and then come and tell us about it and see what we think about it. Can you imagine a visit like that up at Langley or Woodseats? The bloody communists there, that's why. Who are? Bloody Tommy Lund and Sam Haywood, everybody knows that. They won't call them that to the faces, would they? All right, then. They might not be party members, but you know what I mean. Aye, I know just what that means. That means troublemakers, don't they? And that's a term they use is to discredit anybody who's not walking hand in glove with management. <laughs> They're not even bloody members at Labour Party, they mind communists half of that lot. They're just branch officials who put interests at men first. And that's what they're elected for, innit? That's the job. And anybody who don't do that should be out on his arse. Come on, we're not going to waste this time talking to such as him about some... Yeah, like Albert, we've got to stop sucking up to these buggers because we insult a sense when we do. We do a sense down. Yeah, an extremist, you Look, they don't fool me, riding down in a bleeding Rolls Royce, just waving and shaking hands with folks. There's never been a king or queen yet who's done one thing for the working population of this country. They're reactionaries, tourists to a man. I know that. They've no power now. All they're bloody figureheads, that's all. I know that, but they're figureheads of a society that's based on class and inherited wealth and privilege. And we didn't bring a government down, a Tory government down in 72 and 74, like we did. Just to have one of the buggers parading up and down pit yard and everybody bowing and scraping to him. And I'd have to think that they can't see that this is right. Look, brother, why don't you put yourself up for union? You know, just don't rattle at the bloody sidelights. Any silly bugger can do I'm that. Just hey, 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 and if I do it, it'll be that job I put up for. I've got table for, for a game, not for a week. Come on. Come on, it's thy shot now. It's thy shot, come on. And don't rip that table, else we shall be in trouble. <laughs> My God, look at this, lot. Not beginning, neither. Oh, bleeding hell. So we needed. Oh, we can't. We're not going in this, are we? We're going to get pissing wet through after we've gone ten yards. Where are we going to find two types of every animal known to man at this time of the day? <laughs> 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 Isn't it great, eh? Oh, well, we're set to see if we can't stand here all afternoon, can't we? Go and get our glasses umbrella from our house, Daddy. No, they get two years under that anyway. Oh, good day. Hold on a bit. Oh, bugger this arm, we know of it. Who are you, Barney, man? Well, bloody no. Let's cut it back when they get to them, Nip. Where's Harry gone, any road? 
I'm not getting the more of there because I just shook Look at this silly blue. What's he got there? Go on. Oh, <laughs> I'll show her. There, yeah, we're not going over under that bugger, are we? What? Stick end in the belly button and all. We'll get piggy back to it if you want. Does Wilson know he's got it? Ah, oh, I've got the piggy back to one of it, all right. Come on. Come on, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. All aboard. Get back, Bob. Get in, all right. Ah, come on. I've got a big What is your? Where's the right ball come to the air, has not it? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, there's one here. Oh, God, for this here. Come on, we're having a gun bang. Oh, no. Come on, we're having a gun bang. 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 Come on, we're having a gun Today's mail. Is everything all right, Mr. Forbes? Have you seen it, Sheila? Seen what? The stack. Ruined. Bloody ruined. The grass, the seed, the lot look all washed away. What a shame. In about another week, and it had been strong enough to stand all this. It's all this rain this morning when we got up. The conservatory was like a swimming pool. It had come through the roof. Mm. I know, but it did look like a big green hill, especially from a helicopter. You know, he'd have thought he'd been landing in Peak District instead of Pit Yard. Oh, it's a shame. Forbes, he told that was in the shop fire, holding it for him. <laughs> yeah. 
Dolly to one of them. Talking right now, I think that's the only thing they've forgot. They've done everything but that. They haven't put the toilet seat down here in case they need it. Well, it's not torch bleeding far. Me, how come they're flush labs down at me? The dirty bugger who's talking about flush labs. I'm on about them chemical jobs. They've heard on them, they call them Alsans. They had them at Lancaster bombers doing it well when they were bombing Germany. They have them at show grounds and that now. They bloody tell me something though. If they get one of them in for him, he's going to go up top of winding here. Right. Because they tell me it's ice beer it round. <laughs> <laughs> train up and down a bit to try and find an uh, ideal spot for him to get off so he can go straight down face. Okay. So we're not working on controls, on signals, we're going to work from tannoy, my instructions, right? Right. Okay. Okay, now what we're going to do, I want you to come down about a yard. Come forward about a yard. You got it? Whoa! Whoa! It's the best yard I've ever seen. A yard of back at train length would be all right. So Take me can... back now. Get me full back. Bring it back Don't now. Bleeding elastic. Bring it got. back and steady. Hold him there. Where? Stop! Whoa! Whoa, Tom! Whoa, Tommy! Stop pissing about. Come on. We're going to be here all bloody day. Into your pillow. Bring it forward. Now tell him to drop down steady and stop when I tell him. Drop them steady and you've got to stop when I give you instructions, otherwise we're going to be in all bloody... Oh, I... Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Tom! Bloody marvellous, isn't it? Should I go up there? I'll bloody... No, oh, stop! Stop there and tell that daft twat what to are you take it steady this at? time! I'll tell you something, you're not on that bloody job on the day. I'll get you in bloody shit house cleaning it. Well, you're all right, what I'm driving, I know. Pull it back a bit. Come on, we've got to get this mark. Steady. Steady at that. Come on. Whereabouts? Now. OK, hold it at that. That's better. Thank you. It wasn't that bloody hard, was it? Steady. Pull it down. Whoa! He's what, not what can you say about it? He's what not going to Just tell him again now to pull back steady. Tell him this is his last chance. Like, can you pull it back steady, Tom? You're going up and down here like I don't know what. Come on, pull it back steady. Can't you want hundred pound a week for this bloody twat? You'll not be on that bloody job on the day, I'll tell you. I'll see to that. Whoa, whoa. Whoa now. There. Is That's that it? it? Whoa, now hold it there now for God's sake. Thank him, thank him, because he's done a good job. Thank you. Eddie, yeah. put a cross up there, my son. You got paint, haven't you? Yeah, it's Because if we sat here, see, you know? Yeah, it's good night. Sat here, and then uh, get out here, and then just about right. Can you make so, it? I, want, I just want these to do some daft and all. Just to trust no, I, I, call, I, of course I'm going to be right, aye. There's a bit of this temper in here. Oh, oh no, look at this large block. Eddie! Oh, get, come on. Spell. Get down. That'll do. Come on. I say, Emmy, bloody, get out of the road. Look at him and thee. Look here. That'll get a new, new fare. Yeah, anyway, uh, uh, of course I'll get a new fare. Anyway, get cleaned up. I'm going. Come on, All let's right. get up here. Come on, Emmy. What were all that about? Look. See, that cross will get at it. Huh? Well, I've got to stop here now. <laughs> get away. Ah, because, uh, you know, on the big day, when the whistle party comes down and the music takes place, well, this is where to get off. 
That, that cross deer is dead opposite this here tent. So that when he gets off, uh, he can walk straight down to fish. <laughs> Look, pull in my leg. It's true. Get out of it. It's true. Well, I won't be surprised if you not put some steps here for him to step down off. Oh, no, no, Dick. Look, I, and I've also heard that they've sent a letter from Palace saying that they don't want no special privileges or all like that. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> it's big out on the minute, isn't it? Well, we it's the air. I don't know what that is now, like. It's a lot of shots. <laughs> Say on here, then, Bert. Tell me what it said on here. What bit, then, Bert? Let's say hello. Come on. Get it's it. A typical cardboard job if it's not working. Oh, here it is. Here oh. it is. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. What is it? This what? This plaque really? commemorates the visit of His Royal Highness to Prince of Wales to Milton Colliery, 14th of June, 1976. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Now then, what's your buddy lot? We'll be here. We're waiting for Punch and Judy show to start. Punch and Judy? I'll give you Punch and Judy, Albert. Now listen here, you fellas. I'm hoping that you've all read them notices in pit baths. What notices? Every one on you about swearing. We don't swear. Now, you know we've a royal visit coming off, <laughs> and that's what it's being put up for. <laughs> well, listen. Flipping and bum. Are they swearing? <laughs> Dan Oyser on all time, you know that, don't you? And we don't want nobody coming out with your foul mouth of language. Oh. Of it, Dan Oyers. Well, that can depend on us, Tom, lad, because we won't want him to go home thinking that uh, anybody swore down here, would we? Now, we know there's no flipping and bums. We, we, we don't want no effing and blinding. That's what we don't want. That no. old boy. No, <laughs> no, there's always one. And I do believe I hear the cage approaching. Shall yes, we do yes, yes. yes. yes, I must go home to my house now. <laughs> yes, you all run along. Don't stop a minute longer than your time. Don't be late for the hunt, old oh, boy. We're no. <laughs> playing polo tonight when we oh, finish. Oh, go on, bugger off of them. Get off all that, are you? I swear it. Take your buddy hooks. Don't be late tomorrow. Please. You don't know where that is, it's in Yorkshire. Go, Arthur, go, come in, Alanda. Oh, boy, darling. Come on, son, let's have the in bed now. Oh, Dad. Come on, get off to bed if they're not in bed when the mum comes, or my son will cop it. There's some kids in our class don't go to bed about ten. Some kids in your class tells lies and all, isn't there? Come on, turn tell you. Dad. What? I don't want to go to the beach tomorrow. I want to go fishing instead. Well, what's the mum say about it? I don't know. I've not asked her. Well, they've given it day off at visit, then, or it's not to go fishing. They aren't, not really. Just gave us a day off because royalty were coming. We don't well, get royalty every day. They to go, aren't they? No, not really. Stacks of kids are not well, going. I don't want all your school stood outside them pit gates cheering and they walking down the road in the opposite direction with the rod on their back on at reservoir. They ain't all kids. They'll be... Uh, them that are there, the little lardy dars that'll be there. All the rest of them are either going playing football, Ice skating. Hey, that's what Phil, uh, Phil, um, what they call him, Fletcher, and their Jason. They're going ice skating. But well, I'm not kidding me. Cos I know they all start stammering when they're having me on. I'm not honest. Crush me out not to die. If that kidding me, I'll tan the arse and all. I'm not. I'll see what the mum says anyway when she comes in. No, don't. Why not? Because she'll make me go with her and her, Janet. No, she'll not. Not if what that saying's right, she won't. It is right. Well, they're old enough to make the own mind up about it. Anyway, come on, let's have the off to bed, else I'll be too tired to do out in the morning.
By the way, why don't y'all got a day off tomorrow? Someone's got their own pit, haven't they? We have the day off, there'll be nobody there. That's all idea at visit, innit? So he gets an idea of what goes off. I think it's his gaff, this, don't you? This visit. Well, I'm not too keen on it. No, I know. Why aren't you so keen on it? Well, I don't see what all this fuss and palaver's about, that's all. Well, it's important, isn't it? That's <laughs> ah, important, all right. What are you laughing at? He's not funny, dear. <laughs> It's like this, they say. Now, that goes down to that res dump, then, that goes fishing there. I mean, some days they'll, they'll sit there all day and never catch a thing. But let's say he wants to go fishing. He says tomorrow, I fancy a bit, a bit of fishing while I'm at it. They'd stock that reservoir up, wouldn't they? There'd be perch and tench and rope. There'd be all sorts in it. Well, I don't think that's right, see. Them fish are in there for them people who fish the irregular. They're people who've got a right to them. Does you see what I'm trying to get at? Night. What's comics for? Put by my bed for tomorrow. I'll be up in five minutes and I'll to check. That light better be off. Yeah. And don't forget to clean the teeth either. Yeah, I'll clean it. Well, thanks. See you. Been up there. Oh, some vandals will have put it on during the night, I should imagine. Some vandals, some pillock, you mean? Sam, don't get aerated. I'll get aerated. Oh, you'll have some trouble getting that off. It'll have to be painted over, then, that's all. Mm -hmm. Well, that's probably the best thing to do, I should imagine. Yeah, it will do. Time you've got. And we'll paint that one what's done it when I get on him. Aye, aye, we'll, we'll look after him tonight. <laughs> Bring Mrs. Ford to my office, Chris, and put car away, will you? Just go ahead, carry on, love, carry on. You're all right. Hello. Come on. Get me Bob Richards and hurry up. Bob, it's Forbes here. Have you seen that lot up there about Scargill? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, now, how, how are we going to be all right here? We're going to be the bloody... La Get it clean up, because we're going to be the bloody laughing stock of the bloody pit we are. Tex, get somebody up there. Get it painted over. I tell you, no, better still, go up with him yourself. Make sure he does it, and then check round. Because if I ever find that thick-headed twat what's done that, I'll string the bastard up by his knackers from the medgears, me. Okay. Get on with it, Bob. Better check it. Whose is it? I don't know. I can find out if you like. If you will lie. Jeff, come in. I want you. Whose is this uh, snap bag here? That's Dick Hemsley's. Why? Do you want us to get him? If you would, please. Where's uh, he working now? He's working in this shop over here. Go and get him and bring him in. Right. And tell him to be quick. 
a funny place to leave a snap bag all the same, isn't it? It's a bit of a funny side, wait you see him. <laughs> Dick, is this your uh, snap bag here? Oh, what? Well, these are uh, two gentlemen from bomb spot and they're just checking to make sure there's no uh, bombs being planted round about for visit, you know. Uh, well, I'll have to leave it there. You always leave it there, you? Yeah, know. Would you open it up, please? What for? Well, we'd like to check the contents, if you don't mind. Well, I told you what contents was in it poured up, innit? No, you best do as he said, because they can't take any chances, you know, in their oh, game. Hope we all right here. Hope we all right here. Don't flash. Don't flash. Don't flash. Don't flash. Don't snap it. It's jamming it. Satisfied? Yes, thanks very much. You can put them all away now. Yeah. Sorry to have troubled you. No, it's all right. No bother. Here. Well, let's shift this brick from here, Tom. What for? What's the bloody eye so stuck there, isn't it? Well, it's been a nice over the last 18 months, then. And nobody's Listen. complained until now. Listen, I haven't got time to argue. You know exactly what I mean. Now get it shifted, will you? The only way that brick's going to be shifted is if you get that joiner down and get that sash mended, and it'll stay up on its own. It just gets like a bloody oven in here. It's like my things as it is. There's no edit in place at all. You won't move it. Well, we haven't got time to fetch the joiner down, have we? Well, it's stopping then. I can fetch the manager down, should I? You can bring anybody you like down. If that brick goes, we're straight out through that door. No, that's that's it. It. Well, we could always fetch somebody in this morning. What? You must be joking. How did you know what kind of soap to get? I picked that one that says by appointment, look. Oh, yeah. Mm. This shampoo is as well. Can you see at the bottom? Oh, yeah, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. So mm. manufacturers. It's good that I never thought of that. Think I want to wash his hair, then? Oh, I should think so, yeah, when he's been down the pit. Oh, I best go get his boots ready. Yeah. <laughs> It's the same size as our dike, he does. Does he? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I've taken up big feet. Yeah, our dike has. <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing this one. Yeah. Hey, you know what they say about men with big feet? No, why? What do they say? <laughs> Tell us, come on. No. <laughs> There's a big fat Geordie tells me there's a brick round here. Is it right? Brick? Well, what are you going to do with it? Paint it. <laughs> <laughs> Paint brick? Ah. So Whose idea is that? Uh, Bob. Bob? Oh, dear. That's good, is it? You're, You're not fitting up your back, are you? Oh, yeah. That's this the brick there. That's, that's the only one I've got around me. What's going on, Ben? You must be. I'm painting it, Bob. You're not painting it, are you? Ah. What's Forbes to know about this? Aye, right, well, Forbes, I'm under Forbes' direct instructions. I want to keep in your line, we'll cross back over the road and we'll go up here, right? Lead on to this one. Be careful, hurry up now. Come on, Angela. Running, right? Yes. Hey, 